Well, so <clears throat> doing a follow up on the Kinetic R1. Uh, I was riding really stiff. Not really stiff, but it was really hard. Uh, but with all the effort I put, I can barely hold 30 watts on Zwift. So I uh, downloaded the app again. Um, actually, I, on this phone, I never got the app, but I downloaded the app on this phone and I'm updating it. So hopefully, it fixes the fixes the problem because I can't believe like you know I'm putting up like a lot of effort and it's only reading like 20 to 30 watts and to get to like 50 is like full gas and it's pretty uh, nonsense so hopefully it works and then uh, let's see what it says here since it's almost done come on and uh, as soon as I hit the as soon as I open the app to update this um, kinetic R1 kind of shut off and then of course it says to leave it plugged in so let's see what it does all right there was it's booting back up okay close this up okay I'll try it out and see what to expect it's whip set up and I did the update for the first time and I noticed that the uh, first thing I noticed was that the resistance became like neutral right away like there's no resistance on the unit um, so I can actually pedal freely and I noticed that it actually turns off now unless uh, I pedal it and you'll hear it turn on sorry about that making that little yeah but then the thing is that I got Zwift set up and it, yeah, as you can hear it shuts off. Uh, before the update, the fan was turning on the whole time. So what happened now is that I can't find my, I can't find my uh, cadence no more. It's reading it as um, my heart monitor, which that's not possible. Okay, so I'm going to write it and see what to expect. And while I'm writing it, so while I'm writing it, I'm gonna see how it's reading my watts now, which is actually what I wanted it to do, and my cadence as well. So everything's back to normal, and uh, just showing this funky little mount that I have here. Got it at like a little department store for six bucks it's not all that but it kind of holds the phone keeps my entertainment system uh alive while i'm riding zwift but yeah the, the main thing is that okay yeah there it goes it's working now the issue was that somehow the firmware update needed to be downloaded through the kinetic kinetic app and it released the resistance on this unit so I'm not using as much leg power, which is normal. And uh, I'm able to ride again. So yeah, something to look into if you're having issues with your Kinetic R1 is to download the app and just download the update or go through the calibration process.